everyone, I hope you're doing fantastic today. We are going to do some upper body working out and I'm so excited for it because as you know, not my strongest suit. So <laughs> let's get started. First we're up, we're just gonna do some big arm circles. So just going slow. It's just such a nice way to kind of explore your range, see what's working for you, what's not working for you. And just get those shoulders warmed up and that back working. Nice. We're going to do two more here. There we go. And then reversing, going to the back, coming forward. Don't let those hips and those ribs come forward though. Just breathing deep, letting everything else relax. If you're starting to feel anything in your neck, you can look side to side. You can rock your head out. And we're gonna do this last one here, and then we're gonna take that and we're gonna go into some stirs. So arms straight out to the outside, and just little stirs here. Palms could be facing down. And just try to control it in your body so you're not just flopping all over the place. And then we're going to reverse that. So going whatever opposite direction is for you. And one last big breath here. Inhaling all the way. And exhaling all the way. Nice. Right, so let those arms come on down. And then we are going to end up down on the mat. So we're going to come towards the end of our mat. And then we are going to inhale those arms up towards the ceiling. Roll ourselves down, but keep those shoulder blades in. And then we're going to walk ourselves out into a downward dog. So don't go too far. Reach through those heels. Press that chest down. Awesome. Okay, so from here, we're going to end up lowering ourselves down until we're laying down. So think about coming into a plank. Bending those elbows, lower yourself all the way down. You can uncurl those toes, and then we're going to be starting with our pull straps and T combo. So, arms are going to be down by our side, palms are facing us. We're going to inhale, pull those hands up as high as we possibly can. Open the arms up, palms will be facing down, and then squeeze them back, and then all the way on down again. So, inhaling up. Open up off the outside, pull them back in, and all the way on down. We've got three more. Inhaling up, opening, closing, and back on down. we got one last one here. Up, open, close, and down. Nice. So then we're going to do an overhead pull down. So what that's going to look like, we're going to bring our arms over our head. So long on the mat, we're going to either press your forehead down or you can keep it hovering up above the mat. We're going to open those arms up, or sorry, lift those arms up, and then we're pulling down and then pressing up. So if you wanted to, you could hold onto a pillow or something, and it's going to go behind your head, and then back up. We got two more, and then back on down, and then we're going to do some spawns, so you're going to bring your hands down by your chest, and then we're going to do it in a few different positions here, but we're just going to start with our hands just in line with our chest here, and then you inhale, pressing on up, squeezing those abs as you do, exhale, coming back on down. Those legs can just stay hip distance apart. If you'd like, you can squeeze them together for a little extra inner thigh, but you don't have to. We're going to do three more here, pressing up, coming back on down. Nice, and then we're going to do some staggered hand swans. So, one hand is going to come out a little farther in front, so I've got my right hand out further in front, and then we're going to press up here, like this, and back on down. Is your arms working in a slightly different way? Nice. 
Just make sure you're still squeezing up nice and evenly through your spine. You shouldn't feel like you're going on a diagonal. We've got two more. Pressing up, back on down, and last one. Whew. And then we're going to switch. So the other hand's just slightly out in front of your face. The other hand, or the right hand would now be in line with your chest. And then you're going to press up and back on down. And pressing up. And back on down. We're going for eight. This one's number four. Two more here. And last one. Nice. So we're going to bring both hands down by our chest now. We're going to curl our toes underneath our feet here and then we're going to press ourselves up we're going to end up in a downward dog so pressing yourself up into a plank shift your hips back until you're in that downward dog reach for those heels pressing that head down and that chest down towards the floor nice and then you can either walk your dog here oh, one of my mat slipped <laughs> and then we're going to come forward back into our plank and we're going to do some up up down down so if you're one of those people that can't plank on your wrist by all means stay down and instead you could do a couple hip swivels if not we're doing those up up down now coming down coming up and making sure that you alternate which hand is starting we're going to do one last set here Coming back up onto our hands, and then we're going to come into a side plank. So swivel yourself over, and we're just going to do a couple little hip dips, and then reach. And hip dipping down, and reach. One last one, and reach. And then we're going to take that top arm, and we're going to twist, pull it underneath the armpit, and then back on up. And then twisting underneath, and back on up. One last one. And all the way back on up. Nice. So you can come on down and then we're going to turn around and do the other side. I don't know if I made you do any crazy transitions. <laughs> so stepping yourself up into your nice long plank and we're dipping down to reach over and dip back. <sighs> Exhale to reach. One last one. Nice. And then we're taking that top arm, looking underneath, and then back on up. Twisting to look. And back on up. And twisting. And one last one. All the way back on up. Nice. So, coming on down, we're going to come into a bit of a reverse tabletop. So, again, if you can't be on your hands, be on your elbows here, but try to get your hips up as high as you possibly can, and you're just going to hold. If not, we are up on our hands. Traditionally, those fingers would be facing us, but if you find that that's too hard on your wrist, you could be hands pointed outwards. So we're going to come on up into our re reverse tabletop, elbows bent, press back on up. They don't have to be huge. But just little tricep dips here. Pressing up. You got two more. Pressing up. Last one. Nice. And then we're going to stay up. We're going to step out. Step out. Step in. Step in. If you find that this feels a little weird in the back of the knees, it's okay. Just step out a little bit and step in a little bit. We got one last set there. Coming all the way back on in. And then we're going to come on down. We got one last plank to do. And it's just to get it as into our push-ups and then walking back on in and up. So, hands down on the mat. About shoulder distance apart, stepping back into your plank. 
And then we're going to do three push-ups here. It doesn't matter what size. It could be a thought. But when you're ready, come down. Exhale, come back on up. And one last one. And then we're going to take one step in. Hips are coming up. And we're going to do another three push-ups here. It's going to look a little weird. But boys are going to make your arms work. Dipping down, back on up. And then one more step in. Maybe you need to bend your knees now. That's okay. Dipping down, back on up. Once you've done your third one, you're going to take your last steps all the way in. Really engage your abs. And just let those arms curl or start to bend. Hold on to those elbows. And you can let your arms just rock and relax. Maybe you can need to roll out those wrists, shake them out here. And then when you're ready, squeeze those abs even harder to lift yourself on up. And I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. I also love working upper body because I find it the hardest thing for me, except for maybe just back and extensions. <laughs> But that's another video. So <laughs> let's be super, super proud of yourselves for. Okay. I actually love working upper body because you know what? It's one of those things that's really, really difficult for my body. Let me know in the comments down below if this is something that you need to work more on too. Because you know what? Let's do this together. Let's get on an upper body pump together. And <laughs> I hope to see you all very, very soon. I'm super, super proud of all of you for either starting this journey or getting through to this point and continuing on, whatever point you're in, just know that I am so stoked for you to be moving and enjoying all this fun endorphin rush that we get to have together. Okay, so see you all very, very soon and I'm sending you lots of love and healthy vibes.